from the Kansas City Sports Update Studio. This is the Richard Smith Show, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs, brought to you by Arrowhead Update. Don't forget to check out our Royals Update podcast with Kevin Mong. Check us out on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, Speaker Player FM, YouTube, and all third-party applications. Also check us out on all major social media platforms. And if you can't find us there, just Google The Richard Smith Show and Kansas City Chiefs, and I promise you will find it. Let's talk Chiefs. How are we doing, Chiefs Kingdom? It is Thursday, May 16th, and we have a lot of Chiefs news to talk about today. And to start the show, I want to pay tribute to Gunther Cunningham. Unfortunately, this past weekend, Gunther Cunningham died at the age of 72. He was a legendary defensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs from 95 to 99 and then returned to be the defensive coordinator for a Dick Vermeil-led Kansas City Chiefs. He was also the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs for a few seasons, uh, but really was known for leading those amazing Chiefs defenses in the 90s with Derek Thomas, Neil Smith, Dale Carter, and all of those guys. It was really surprising that's a tough loss in Chiefs Kingdom. and I don't care. Anywhere around the NFL. Uh, he's a legendary coach. He truly is. But, um, you know, especially here with the Kansas City Chiefs, I know that he's uh, provides some great memories for us here. And rest in peace to you. I, I can't say enough about Gunther Cunningham. You know, I wish he would have had a better head coaching career with us. But, hey, you know. Some people are meant to be defensive coordinators. But there was a statement made from uh, Chairman and CEO Clark Hunt uh, about the passing of Gunther Cunningham. And I'm quoting this. My family and I are deeply saddened to hear the news of Gunther's passing. During his nine seasons of defensive coordinator and two as head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, he led some of the most feared defensive in our franchise history with his energetic and motivating coaching style. Gunther made a tremendous impact on so many lives on and off the playing field in nearly five decades of coaching. Our heartfelt condolences go out to Renee, Natalie, Adam, and the entire Cunningham family during this difficult time. Rest in peace, Coach. E.J. Manuel last week decides to retire and walk away from football. Excuse me, this week decides to retire and and walk away from football. We had a lot of depth at quarterback anyway, and I feel like that we were he probably was not going to make the roster, and he knew his time was spent in the NFL. Um. Some brighter news coming to Kansas City. Last night, after the firing of the New York Jets general manager, we picked up Darren Lee, a former first-round pick for the New York Jets, for a 2020 sixth-round pick. Um, Look, Kansas City, what happened just then is we took advantage of the dysfunction that is going on in um, the front office of New York. They fired their general manager and they made Adam Gase um, the interim head coach. And so with that being said, what happened is Lee was not going to be going to be in the scheme for this upcoming season for the New York Jets. So we hopped in there and we stole him at a really, really good price, a 2020 sixth round pick. Now, look, Darren Lee had a career year last season. The first two seasons were extremely dismal, but he was rated a a 74 or 76 overall last year, which is a really good rating, mind you. Um, He's extremely healthy. Um, In his three years in the NFL, he's only missed three games due to one ankle injury, and that was in 2016. So really, realistically, we're getting an extremely healthy player here. Uh, I I would say that that Darren Lee for the Kansas City Chiefs is a low-risk, high-reward 
type of talent for the Chiefs. Now, keep in mind, in 2016 at the NFL Combine, he was tested as an elite player, an elite athlete. So the kid has got skill, he's athletic, and he's got smarts. The thing is, is he went to a ridiculously dysfunctional New York Jets franchise. And also keep in mind, this is a number one four-rated coverage linebacker in football last year. Just saying. So to give up what we gave for Darren Lee, I love it. That was a really, really, really good scenario for the Kansas City Chiefs. Again. So again, I say, Brett Veach, any question on what he's doing? I think y'all should give the kid a rest because he's busting moves. Moving on to Patrick Peterson. He was just suspended for six weeks for violating the league's substance abuse policy. Um, He had a PED come up in his system, performance-enhancing drug, which led to a four-game suspension. The other two games were for the substance they found to hide the actual substance. So two games for the, the, uh, the act of trying to hide the PED, and then four games for the actual PED. So I think that will end all the talks of Patrick Peterson being traded to Kansas City because everybody just seems, seems to be sticking to that. And I don't know if that's just a dream of the NFL right now, and that would just you know, make things, you know, polish that perfect engine in Kansas City. But, look, we can't have them all. We can't have them all. And a six-game suspension, well, we don't need that on Kansas City. We, we've got enough to deal with without all of that. So I think the Patrick Peterson talks in Kansas City are over with, and we really need to be paying attention to people like Darren Lee who actually pay, play for the Kansas City Chiefs. So, look him up. He's a great coverage linebacker, and he's going to fit great into uh, Steve Spagnuolo's system. And I think that you all will be will be surprised as to what he brings to the table. Um, look, we need to get over this hump and beat a team like the the New England Patriots, and we're almost there. Look, we got this. We got this. We just keep locking more and more talent in place. This is amazing. Look, we're this man is look Darren Lee is competing. For a a top 10, or a top 10, he is competing for a starting linebacking spot against uh, against Dorian O'Daniel. So look, he really is is in a good spot to take this starting position. So look, Kansas City, uh, the time is almost near. We're almost going into the uh, next, you know, this upcoming football season and making some big moves. And I really hope that um, that all of this mince together and and we can get this Super Bowl because look we we deserve it Chiefs fans deserve it Kansas City Chiefs deserve it the organization Clark Hunt um the entire the entire city look this has to happen we need Kansas City to shine this year and we have all the pieces in place I don't care like if you want to go out let's go out pick some more pieces up I'm I'm not prejudiced to adding as many keys to this this puzzle as possible so it is Thursday, Kansas City. You have a great week. Have a great weekend. Um, drink a few beers for me. Uh, let's get excited about this upcoming season because it's going to be spectacular, more so than last. So this is uh, from the K- KCSU studio. This is the Richard Smith Show where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. Brought to you by Arrowhead Update. Check us out on iHeartRadio, um, Apple podcast google podcast spotify soundcloud player fm spreaker um youtube and all third-party applications you have a great week in kansas city